Hey guys, welcome back. I uh, just wanted to do a quick update on uh, my aloe vera plants. Um, tons of them, obviously. Uh, that's the biggest one. I um, guess I can try to get a shot here. Of, you know, here's my finger, and there's the, the base of the, you know. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty good, long, um, you know, it's, it's pretty plump, uh, pretty fat. Um, so um, I think it's been a little bit water deprived as of late. Um, so our rainy season is over and winter starting. Um, also, I know when they get more sun, they turn red too. So um, I happen to notice a correlation between the red uh, with uh, getting too much, uh, getting a lot of sun uh, and it turning red with it not getting enough water as well. So I don't know if um, that's a dual thing or if that's just with my plant. Um, so when it gets red, I usually water it and it will usually turn back to the green color there. So that's the original plant. Uh, then here's all the pups there that I need to get in and clean out. Every time I get in and clean them out, <laughs> they just grow back. So I'm kind of frustrated, but um, you know, they seem to be doing just fine. So um, I'm sure if I removed all those that the mother plant would get enormous, um, but I haven't really um, gotten into all that. Still gotta get rid of that bush there that died on me, but this is the one from my son's school, um, I think two and almost two and a half years ago. He, uh, we plant, planted that in a pot. Um, when I brought it home, it had a bunch of pups around the sides, which not put it producing as many pups as it did uh, before, um, but you can see there's a couple pups in and around scattered. Um, there was one, here's one obviously. So um, it's got some more pups coming in, so I'm probably gonna have to clean that out, put new, uh, new dirt, uh, you know, try to, to add more dirt, dirt and that sort of thing in there, because um, that one's been in there for a while. But um, you can just see how many pups. I mean, you know, if you're not sure what, to, you know, um, and I don't know, not all, not all of them produce like this, but um, in, in terms of uh, this many, um, but. Mine pr happens to be pretty pr prolific. Uh, it just keeps producing and producing and producing. I have so many aloe vera plants, I don't even know what to do with any of them <laughs> because um, I took the plants, the pups from this one, and I put them in this bag. And this is why I say that um, the more water they get, uh, the less red they seem to get. Um, and, and, you know, I guess it's a sun thing too, obviously. But um, with uh, these, these are much redder. Uh, than the next ones I'm going to show you and these don't have you know it's it's the the mesh bag here so um, I need to p replant these pull them out of this bag and, and put them into another bag uh, you know and raise the soil level obviously uh, add some coconut core I think that would help with the uh, water issues um, I'd like to divide them all up but um, without having people to give them to you know uh, it just you know it's frustrating because you don't want to divide them all up and then uh, just have a bunch of small plants that you're trying to take care of so for right now I just kind of leave them in there um, but these I try to water uh, but they don't get they don't water as well as this one does and now these were all red um, and you can still see it's still a little red here on some of them but um, these were all red like those were so pretty much it looked like that um, for color wise you know there are a couple green ones like that but it was mostly red whereas when I watered this uh, and this one does not have holes in the bottom so whatever I water in here stays in there and um, I found that to be uh, quite you know good uh, I, I found it to be good because I can just kind of water it and uh, just kind of make sure I don't wa over water but uh, I just water it and then um, the aloe vera will pull up into the leaves whatever it needs um, obviously uh, it was pulling uh, nutrients from the, the leaf to support the plant um, and you can see that um, once it does that as far as I know this will never fill back up so but you know next time you need a piece of aloe vera you just cut it you know cut off whatever length you're looking for or pull it off from the bottom uh, and this leaf is still usable so Sorry about the plane, guys. Uh, live near some airports, so that uh, they're always flying overhead. So, but yeah, so they they turn nice and green. Um, you know, these look really good to me. They look really healthy. Um, probably with a, such a small container, I'm probably gonna have to supplement fertilizer. Obviously, um, you know, if I planted these in the ground, I probably wouldn't have to do a thing to them. So, um, but you know, as you can see, you know, the things just multiply like they just multiply like rabbits. So. <laughs> Um, it's just crazy to see how much aloe vera um, just multiplies and everything, at least mine. So uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think of my aloe vera here. Um, and just, uh, you know, 
let me know what's going on. Let me know if you guys have some aloe vera plants and, uh, you know, what's going on in your garden and everything. So if you guys happen to have any uh, videos uh, of aloe vera or um, videos that you've made or that you uh, happen to like, uh, favorite videos and that sort of thing, uh, go ahead and uh, post those in the comments. Um, you know, any relevant comments uh, that have uh, links attached to them, I'm, I'm not going to, um, you know, remove or and if they get stuck in the, fan, the spam or, you know, I'll, I'll pull them out. That's not a big deal. Um, so I'm pretty active with my comments. If you leave a comment, I will usually respond. Um, can't promise that I'll respond, you know, right away, but uh, usually within a couple days I respond. Um, so uh, I really enjoy uh, communicating and talking with you guys. Um, I think I built some uh, pretty good friendships and everything. Um, and... Uh, yeah, oh, and for you guys to stuck around for the end, <laughs> I didn't mean to, but yeah, I skipped this one on accident. Um, this one, for some reason, he's he's always red. Um, I think that, because there's cardboard up and around him, so I think that he's just not getting enough water um, there and with that container here uh, and everything. And you can see this container has been sitting like this for a little bit, um, for a couple weeks, and you can see there's like hardly any water in it, which I'll dump that out here off camera and everything um but you can see like that's about all the water you know that's in there so um i'll go ahead and, and dump that out um yeah um a bit disappointed the container um is good uh it seems to be good and solid um it did rip around the handles though uh but the lid was just not good at all on that one whereas when you look at this one here um these are the ones that most people are buying at either lowe's or home depot or um i got i think i got this one at costco um you can see the, the lid is nice and solid no signs of, of dry rot there so i do need to pull these out and put some lettuce in them um that's kind of why i have lettuce and stuff growing over there um but uh, that'll be a thing. Sorry, I guess I got off on a tangent there. But um, So that's my elevator, guys. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye.